Hi, I'm John Darm with Gokia Valley Sword Group, and today we're going to be making a hanging pel. Uh, pel is a generic term for any type of training tool that you strike with your sword. Um, for the purpose of training, obviously. <laughs> um, now this uh, design is not my own. Uh, it is common among Olympic fencers, uh, foil, saber, and hay, um, but for some reason it's just never caught on with uh, the Koryu crowd, or uh, most Hema guys, unless they've got sort of training in those arts. Uh, now, in Koryu, we certainly have our own kinds of Pels, uh, Makiwaras, uh, but generally these are quite large um, and really ill-suited for training indoors. And since we're sort of focusing our videos for the lockdown, I figured that uh, this would be a nice, inexpensive tool that we can make and uh, you can use to improve your skills on your own. So, uh, I got these fancy Wilson balls <laughs> for like three bucks uh, from a local store. If your dollar store carries them, you can get them there too. Uh, Pels are meant to be destroyed. Uh, you don't have to make them fancy. Assume they're going to break because you're hitting them with swords, right? So, uh, these balls can be pressurized, so be a little careful. There we go. Make a hole on one side, flip around. Make a hole on the other. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now, I'm gonna be using uh, paracord, uh, which is, um, it's, a, it's a type of common cord, it's very inexpensive. Um, you can use any type of cord. I like the paracord because it's just a little bouncy and uh, a little bit sturdy. So I'm gonna take Let's see, about a length of six feet or so. Now, uh, since paracord is nylon, I'm going to go ahead and seal the ends. So they don't fray. Set my excess aside. Now, uh, you can feed this through the ball with tweezers or really a lot of different things. But what I'm going to use is uh, the spike. They have a name, um, maybe a marlin spike, I'm not really sure. But all it is is a hollow tube, and I hammered the end flat and then shaped it with a file. You take the end of your cordage and you thread it through. Now, uh, if you're using a nylon cord like the paracord and it's a little thick, just heat it up, wet your fingers, and pull it out long, and you can shape it. So. Just gonna thread that through real quick. Find the uh, holes that I made. There we are. And just shove that right on through. Almost. There we go. Whoa. Make sure this is in there a bit. Easy peasy. Uh, now you can tie a big freaking knot here, but. Uh, I'm just going to tie a quick bowline. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the bowline, uh, B-O-L-I-N, you can look them up online. They are a really pretty important knot to learn. And uh, if you're familiar with the rabbit comes out of the hole, goes around the back of the tree, goes back in the hole, that is a bowline, right? So I make the loop about as big as the other end, and I feed it through. Right? Now, I have a ball on a pendulum. Right? Pretty simple, pretty easy. What I'll do is, uh, if I want this to be permanent, I'll take a, a hook or a loop, I'll find a stud in my ceiling, and I'll screw it in and uh, set this. Ideally, you want the height to be about at your throat level. I find that that's Pretty good for most people. Uh, if you're just looking for something temporary, you can take a push pin and put it into the ceiling, which is what I will probably do. So I'm going to go ahead and install it, and then we will cut back and uh, show you how to use it. So we've installed the pelt from the ceiling at about throat height. Um, for this, I'll be using one of the rondelles. Um, you can use a long sword, short sword. Um, I mean, cut out of walk, obviously. Um, whatever you like, doesn't really matter. 
the point of the Pell, uh, as we're primarily going to use it, is for developing uh, acute tip control, right? So let's say that I'm working on South End. I take my steps, right? And I learn to hit it directly. Now, as you saw, it can give you quite a bit of motion. So you can practice just having games with yourself. Hitting it in motion. Take your time. Uh, obviously, in the beginning, you can start off light. And uh, just play around with it a bit. There's a lot of uh, opportunities to develop different types of drills based on uh, what you're interested in training. Now, uh, with this kind of pedal, depending on how well you have it affixed to the ceiling, of course, you can work on uh, striking as well. It just uh, depends on uh, what you're interested in doing, right? Now, there is an older European design of this. It's a pear-shaped pelt. It's got sort of a metal shank, a long, bulbous weight body that you don't strike, right? You make cuts to the metal shank, and then there's a large loop at the bottom so that you can capture the pelt. Um, I think this would be fairly easy to make with uh, just a quick trip to the hardware store if you're interested in something sort of uh, like that. Um, I think that's about it for this video. As always, if you want to understand this work, you have to pick up a sword and go train.